here in the i button and in description box below you will get the complete playlist of z transform welcome to video number 11 and from this video onwards we are going to start inverse z transform so there are various uh, method to evaluate or you can say find the inverse z transform the first method that we are going to discuss here is partial fraction method so here we are going to solve a problem based on inverse z transform by the help of partial fraction method so let us start the question says find the inverse z transform of 2z square plus 3z upon z plus 2 into z minus 4 so here we have that is u of z that is equals to 2z square plus 3z upon z plus 2 into z minus 4. First of all, what we need to do is we need to convert this as u of z upon small z. That means we need to take small z common from the numerator part. If yeah, here you can see we can easily take the z part common that is if you take z common we are left with 2 z plus 3 upon here we have z plus 2 into z minus 4. Had this been 2 z square plus 3 in that case when we are taking z from the numerator this would have been 2 z plus 3 upon z. I repeat this once again suppose this z is not here in that case if you take z from the numerator part that is u of z upon z the numerator would be like 2 z plus 3 upon z okay but here we have z so we can properly take the z part common so here we are left with 2 z plus 3 upon z plus 2 into z minus 4 now we can write this as we are taking actually we are separating this two so we can write this as a upon z plus 2 plus b upon z minus 4. Now we will find the value of a and b by the help of partial, partial fraction method. Solving by partial fraction method. So, this is how we now we can write this as 2z plus 3 this part that is upon z plus 2 into z minus 4. Now here what we can do is yes when we are writing that is we are taking the LCM that is z plus 2 into z minus 4 then z minus 4 is multiplied with this a and z plus 2 is multiplied with this b. So this is going to be a into z minus 4 plus b into z plus 2 upon we have here that is z plus 2 and here we have z minus 4. Now the denominator part will get cancelled out. So we are left with 2 z plus 3 and open this numerator part brackets in the numerator part that is a z minus 4a plus b z plus 2b. Now here we can take the z common from this two that is z into a plus b and the constants that is minus 4a plus 2b. Here we have minus 4a plus 2b. Now we can compare the coefficients of a that is here we have 2 and here we have a plus b and constant that is here we have 3 and here we have minus 4a plus 2b. So here we are writing that is on comparing we will get a a plus b equals to 2 a plus b equals to 2 and minus 4a plus 2b equals to 3 minus 4a plus 2b equals to 3. So let this be equation 1 and this as 2. Here we have minus 4 with a. 
here the coefficient is just 1. So, we will multiply 4 in equation 1. So, here we can write multiplying 4 to equation 1. Then this is going to be 4a plus 4b, 4 into 2 that is 8. And the second equation is as it is, that is minus 4a plus, here we have 2b and this equals to 3. These two get cancelled. If you add both, you will get 6b and here we have 11, which implies b equals to 11 upon 6. So, this is the value of b, that is how much? 11 upon 6. Now, coming to equation 1. From equation 1, you will get a equals to 2 minus b, that is a equals to 2 minus, what is b, that is 11 upon 6, 11 upon 6. If you take the LCM, this is 12 minus 11 upon 6, that is 1 upon 6. So, here we can write, that is the value of a is how much, 1 upon 6 and b is 11 upon 6. So, we have the value of a and b. Now, we can put the value of a and b here. So, we can write, therefore, u of z upon small z is equals to a upon z plus 2, that is 1 upon 6 into 1 upon z plus 2, plus b upon z minus 4, that is 11 upon 6 into 1 upon z minus 4. Now, we are taking this z to the right hand side, this is going to be u of z equals to 1 upon 6 into z upon z plus 2 plus this is 11 upon 6 into z upon z minus 4. Okay. Now, we need to discuss, discuss certain things that is we know that is z transform of u n is equals to u of z. It means if you apply inverse z transform on both the sides, you will get inverse z transform of u of z, then you are going to get u n, ok. This is the first part. So, on inversion we can say, on inversion means we are applying inverse z transform of both the sides, that is on inversion or in place of this you can write uh, on applying inverse z transform on both the sides. This is going to be u n, ok. This is going to be u n. And here we have that is 1 upon 6. What is this? That is inverse z transform of z upon in place of this we can write z minus of minus 2. Why we are writing that like this? We will discuss plus 11 upon 6 into z inverse z transform of z upon z minus 4. Okay. Now coming to the very important part. That is, we know that is inverse, uh, sorry, z transform of a to the power n. This is equals to z upon z minus a. We know this. On applying the inverse z transform, that is, we are applying inverse z transform. So, this is going to be inverse z transform of z upon z minus a. This is going to be a to the power n. Here we have minus sign, but here we have plus sign. So, this is going to be as it is, but in place of z plus 2, we can write z minus of minus 2. So, this is going to be 1 upon 6. The, what is this? That is minus 2. Here we have a. So, we can write that is inverse z transform of this is a to power n. Here we have minus 2. So, we can write this as minus 2 power n plus 11 upon 6. What is this? That is 4 power n and this is the final answer. Okay. So, you need to remember that is z transform of u1 is equals to u of z on applying inverse z transform on both the sides or you can say on inversion, we can say z inverse, in, inverse z transform of u of z is equals to un. Again, we need to remember this that is z transform of a to power n is equals to z upon z minus a. So, on inversion, we can say inverse z transform of z upon z minus a is equals to a to the power n. So, on applying 
here we have if you see here we have z minus in the denominator part but here we had z plus 2 so in place of plus we can write minus of minus 2 so this is going to minus 2 power n this is as it is that is 4 power n thank you thank you so much